bottoms, we have the whole boot. Good morning, everybody. Birthday vlog. I know, I look ridiculous. I just got done opening presents from Corey. I'm on call today, so I have to be at the hospital at seven. I decided last minute to start vlogging because I wanted to see, I thought it would be fun to see how many babies I deliver on my birthday. I'm gonna take you along. For the ride i woke up corey gave me all of my presents it's super early in the morning it was really really sweet one of them was very fancy and i'm super excited I'm just gonna get ready and then head into work and i want to pick out a fun scrub color because duh it's my birthday <laughs> out for my partner. I have a couple patients in labor. I love my super bright outfit. I am so excited. I think it's gonna be a fun day. Corey for my birthday got me new mugs for coffee. I didn't have time to make coffee this morning but I thought my birthday I'm gonna buy some good coffee. So I'm gonna run to the little coffee shop here, order, what do I want? Probably an iced vanilla latte, extra shots of espresso, and then get to drink it in my new cup which I am obsessed with this color. Anyway it's gonna be a really good day so let's go get some breakfast first. Then we'll get to round. It's so crazy. Very exciting being here on my birthday. I honestly, have I delivered someone on my birthday? Did I deliver? I didn't work Thanksgiving last year. I feel like in residency, I don't know that I delivered someone on my birthday, but there's a first time for everything. I hope that is today. <laughs> All right, let's get some breakfast. <laughs> Just got done rounding. I've got three in labor, so chances are looking really good that I will have a baby by the end of my shift, which is so fun. I told all of the patients that it was my birthday, so I was like, you better deliver while I'm here because I really want a birthday twin, and they just all laughed. Everyone has been super nice, saying happy birthday. My phone is blowing up with text messages. It really is so special, and I'm so, so grateful. Still at work though, so I'm going to part, do my notes on everyone that I rounded on, and then kind of go from there so i'll check back in in a little bit actually right now i'm gonna eat my breakfast because i picked up the chorizo burrito at our cafeteria but i didn't get time to eat it because i had to go review a fetal strip that was not looking so great now i'm gonna enjoy some breakfast and then do some charting so it looks like I will get a baby delivered on my birthday. If you guys have ever been in labor, then you know that while you're in labor, you have fetal heart rate monitoring. So you have two bands over your belly, one that is monitoring your contractions or uterine activity, and then one that goes over the baby's heart that monitors the baby's heart rate. I know it can look confusing, and let me know if you want me to make a full video on this because interpreting and reading fetal heart rate strips can be confusing, and obviously this is something I trained for for four years. Anyway, um, with the fetal heart rate monitoring, that gives us a lot of information as far as the fetal status and fetal well-being and lets us know if a baby is stressed out or if something's going on with the umbilical cord, if the placenta is perfusing the baby correctly, all of the things. So one of these babies has something that we call a non-reassuring fetal heart strip where the fetal strip and the monitoring doesn't look all that great. Now there's different categories in fetal heart rate, whether it's category one, which is really good category two which is questionable and then category three which is very concerning and the baby should probably be delivered soon i evaluated the patient i had a discussion with the mom i think at this point the best thing for the baby is going to be delivery sooner rather than later and if we can't get labor to progress and if the baby doesn't tolerate labor then the next step would be a c-section now this isn't something that always needs to be an emergency where we run back and there are situations in labor and delivery where that can happen but sometimes we just have to kind of see how the baby does and if there's no improvement or things get worse then at that point it would be a c-section we'll kind of see how things progress now these fetal heart rate tracings we actually have them up literally all over labor and delivery i mean the patient can see it in her room it's out on the nurse's station so all of the nurses 
have all of the strips pulled up so that they can evaluate all the babies. I have them pulled up here on in my call room, continuously always watching all of the babies that are in labor. In case something happens, you have like a bunch of eyes on these babies. We're one giant team on labor and delivery, not just the doctors and the nurses, but also the scrub techs. Literally everyone has an important role on labor and delivery. And whenever things get crazy, we all function and work really well as a team. I love that about labor and delivery because it's like you're one big family all working to the same end goal, which is a healthy mom and a healthy baby. All right, so I just got done talking to the patient and we are gonna proceed to do a C-section. I got my booties on, in labor and delivery. We can't just wear the little shoe covers. We have to do the booties. At labor and delivery, it gets messy and there's lots of amniotic fluid, which again, is baby urine in case you didn't know. Fun fact of the day, I have my scrub cap, which I've had since residency. One of my co-residents gave it to me. I need to order a new one because this has seen better days for sure. This is going to be the first baby that I deliver on my birthday. So anesthesia is talking to the patient right now and then we will go back to the operating room to do the C-section. It has been busy. I have four patients in labor and they're all kind of racing each other. Hopefully once I'm done with this section, I can have some vaginal deliveries, which would be great. I think everyone's really excited because I told them all it's my birthday and they're like, oh, our baby's gonna share our birthday. And I'm always like, yeah, this is the best day in the world. <laughs> Let's go do a C-section. <laughs> section so delivery count for today is one about to grab some lunch i think i heard a rumor that there's probably some cake in the break room from all of my lovely nurses so let's go check it out the nurses that i work with are the absolute sweetest they are literally angels they brought me a nothing bunt cake my favorite one the white chocolate raspberry the smell the smell hit me so so good our delivery count we're at one birthday baby one of the nurses brought me a caramel apple from disneyland because i'm obsessed look at the cute little disney bag what a good day i need to have a bite of this cake i think one of my patients i'm staring at the strips is getting ready to deliver oh my god so when Corey and I eloped in Oklahoma, it was a really small ceremony and there was about 12 people there, 12 or 15. And so we didn't have, we did have like a mini really pretty cake. I have pictures over on my blog and I think on my Instagram too. We also did a bunch of the mini, like the bite size nothing bunt cakes. These cakes, man, I don't know what they put in them, but they're so good. Like literally every flavor is so good. And this raspberry one just hits different. Mm. Anyway. I'm gonna go see if it's time to have a baby. It uh, kind of looks like it is. We'll check back later. Our baby count is up to two. Just had an amazing vaginal delivery. It went beautifully. All the babies are so cute today. I wonder, probably because of the birthday thing, you know? <laughs> Just saying. Now I'm gonna chart these deliveries. I still have two patients in labor and they're kind of racing each other. So we'll see which one delivers first. <laughs> You guys, I didn't even have time to vlog my last two deliveries. So we had three and then four. So in total, I got four deliveries on my birthday. The last two patients delivered one. And as I was coming out of that room, I get a call that the next one is ready and the baby was just crowning and right there. I just love labor and delivery for that reason where things just move really quickly. After that delivery, I had to do the vaginal tear repair. And then it was time for my partner to come on for the night. Overall, it was such a good day. It was really, really fun. Everyone at the hospital is so nice. My nurses take such good care of me. I got cake, caramel apple. I got cards. I 
I got gifts and it was such a good day. It was so great to be able to deliver four beautiful healthy babies on my birthday. They were all so, so cute. I am just on cloud nine. Now I'm actually gonna go to dry bar to get my hair blown out and then I'm gonna get dinner with some friends. I got my hair done at dry bar. The girl was super nice and did such a good job. Finally back home, I need to like speed clean because I have friends coming over and it's kind of messy. I need to put stuff away. Here we go. Friends are gonna get here and we're just gonna get ready together. But I wanted to show you what Corey got me from Dior. If you've been following me for a long time, especially over on Instagram, you know that I have a slight obsession with Dior. It is my favorite luxury designer. Like everything is amazing. I do have a couple bags from Dior already, but Corey was like, do you want another one? And I was like, obviously. I told him I wanted something that I don't have. We went to Dior together and I kind of pointed stuff out that I really liked. He went back and got something and surprised me. I opened it this morning. Let's get into this unboxing. It's just so, it's so pretty. Like I said, this is a style that I don't have. It's so cute, it's so cute. And the color, Corey loves the color, which is exciting. I'm obsessed with this color. This is the color of the moment. It is a wallet on chain. This just came out. Got a gold chain. First of all, I love the details on the chain because it's got like the CD on it. How cute. For running errands or date night, it does fit the new iPhone 13. I have the Pro Max. Another thing I really like about this bag is that you can take out the strap and it can just be a clutch. Dior. Corey and I are gonna celebrate my birthday on Friday because he's working tonight. Probably wear that for our date night. Good job, babe. I love it. Hey, what's up, everybody? I realized that I did not end yesterday's vlog. As soon as my friends came over and we just started getting ready and talking and laughing and stuff like that, I was like, I don't feel like vlogging this. My friends, like, I don't know. It's weird. We went out to dinner, we went out. It was a really fun night. And now I am headed over to my parents' house for Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving. I do wanna take time just to say thank you so much for all of the constant love, support, every single comment, you guys. I truly read them and you guys give me such great ideas. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate all of you guys the past two years have been crazy obviously in the world and with covid and everything like that but for me personally growing this presence on the internet and on social media has been insane it has been such an amazing experience i am so honored day in and day out that i'm able to do this and that you guys are loving it and liking it it has been life-changing it has been so much fun thank you thank you thank you for your consistent love and support i hope you guys like and subscribe to this channel i love this channel i'm loving youtube it is so much fun to edit and make videos i hope you guys like this video i'm gonna leave all of my social media links down below instagram tiktok my blog my blog that i write in both spanish and english which is pretty cool i love you always remember to be kind and show love to everyone around you bye guys i love you